Killing over 200 humans a year, the Cape Buffalo has earned its menacing nickname, Black Death, and reigns as the most fearsome of Africa's big five. The buffalo's still alive. Now, it's Bob Folkrock's turn. He knows we're after him now. And we needed to kill this buffalo. This is a real deal now. And he was like laying in the brush waiting for us. But first, he'll pursue the ever-elusive African eland, the world's biggest antelope. I got set up. I'm laying on this rock. The wind was blowing hard on top. He's right in the open now, ready? Ready? you are. Winchester Legends is brought to you by Winchester Repeating Arms, the guns that work. She Outdoor Apparel, her adventure starts here. Ram, there are a lot of places to go in this big wide world and the new Ram Outdoorsman can get you to every one of them. Hunter Specialties, the world's largest supplier of hunting accessories. And by Otis Technology, the most advanced gun care systems in the world. This is Africa, land of jungles and savannas, of predators and prey, of wild sights and endless vistas. Let me tell you what it's like sitting in Africa and waking up and see a sunrise or a sunset. This round building that we're sleeping in is totally open. It's fantastic. When you're overlooking the river, it's just multiple animals from hippos to impala, crocodiles, giraffes. I mean, I have to pinch myself sometimes to realize that I'm in Africa. It's a real hunting adventure going on here. Bob's adventure begins in South Africa's Bushveld, where Taba Moyo Safaris offers five-star accommodations and unrivaled hunting. Well, I'm in Africa with two of the best professional hunters in Africa, Farney Stein and Zaria Stein. Well, when you're in Africa, you kind of go with the flow. You have set what you'd really like to go after. Like in this case, I'd like to do an Apollo, and I'd really like to take a big eland, and hopefully I get a Cape Buffalo. Hunting out of Taba Moyo Satellite Camp is Tom Shanks, a longtime friend of Bob's. Tom's chosen the bow to take down a trophy Cape Buffalo of his own. Knowing that your gun's shooting true is critical to hunting any game, especially the deadly kind. One of the things I suggest, folks, is you don't buy a brand new shiny rifle and the first time you shoot it is when you come to Africa. They call this dangerous game. You'll get a whole lot more satisfaction out of your hunt if you prepare for the hunt. Everybody ready? I think it's in the center, don't you? Sighted in and set to go, Bob's ready for whatever the hunt may bring here in the wilds of Africa. Well, the gun checked out. By sun up the next morning, we were hot after an Impala. Come on in, world. We're looking for an Impala this morning. Impala's like a white-tailed deer. Back in the States, there's quite a few of them. It's kind of a neat animal. Southern Africa's elegant Impala ranges across parts of several countries, from Kenya and Uganda, south into Tanzania, the Congo, and much of Zambia, Mozambique, Swaziland, Botswana, Zimbabwe, and the upper reaches of South Africa. Bob's hunt has brought him to Zimbabwe, where herds of two million impala are found on the vast savannas and thick bushveld of this exotic, ancient land, with spiral horns that reach 37 inches and distinctive mustaches on their haunches. The deer-sized impala is prized for its regal bearing, its wily, elusive ways, incredible speed and agility, and exceptionally good eating beautiful, abundant, and highly sought after. A trophy Impala is next on Bob's list as he and his guide team seek an exceptional specimen. So we're walking up through and, and I mean, it's just brushy, lots of brush, you can't see very far. And I looked up and this Impala went across the road. And they go, oh my God, he's a good one. There he stands in a very, very respectable uh, Impala. The one staring at me. staring straight at me. 
and I don't know if I had too much coffee that morning or, or what, but uh, being on that stick, I was I was wobbling back and forth a little bit. I could I could see the movement, and all of a sudden uh, the Impala takes off. And... What uh, really helped me out is they they were just like whitetails. He ran up through there and he stopped and turned around and looked at me one more time. That was his mistake. time getting that shot off. Yeah, I saw it. Whew, that was on. <laughs> Stick was wobbling back and forth and I kept squeezing, squeezing. I felt like I had a 10 pound trigger today. So we cracked him a little bit and I heard the dog barking. <laughs> that little dog, I said, he, he tracked that old Impala right down. He's a good dog. Look at that. He's down, big guy. Oh yeah. With his impressive Impala Ram on the ground, Bob can pause to celebrate nature's bounty. He's a good one, Farney, huh? Nice, nice animal. Yeah, very, very good. What do you think? 350 yards. He's coming out, Bob. Will this awesome eland give Bob a clear shot? Find out when we come back. Winchester Legends is brought to you by Winchester Ammunition, the American legend. Ram. There are a lot of places to go in this big, wide world, and the new Ram Outdoorsman can get you to every one of them. And by Redhead, finest in the field since 1856. Africa is the land of big game dreams, and Taba Moyo Safaris is the place to make those dreams come true. Hunting out of one camp, Bob's already taken an exceptional Impala. Hunting from the other camp, Buddy, Tom Shanks, has yet to get his trophy buffalo with a bow. Well, Farney and Zaria has got two different camps in South Africa. One, you're actually sleeping in an open air tower where you're overlooking the river and you can hear the lions roar at nighttime. And then the other one, it's just like being at home. I mean, the, the two camps are totally opposite, but the, the, the friendship and the fellowship is, is exactly the same. You know, they say you come over as a client, but you leave as friends, and that's exactly what happened. In pursuit of the Great Eland, Bob and his guide team head for the highlands. We're headed up to the mountains. You can't tell that it's a little bouncy, can you? Lots of rocks. It's going to take us a while to get up here. Big animals demand deadly ammo, and the Winchester Ballistic Silver Tip fits the bill. Its polycarbonate tip improves downrange ballistics. The lead alloy core is designed for rapid energy transfer on big game animals in demanding conditions. And the contour jacket provides optimum expansion and accuracy. The larger calibers deliver extreme knockdown on the biggest hoofed game. From megabucks and caribou to thousand pound elands. Accuracy, impact, and deal closing results you'll write home about. It's Winchester's ballistic silver tip. Well, we hiked up to the top of this kind of a, a lookout, and the first thing that we seen was this eland. I guess if you're going to compare the eland to something in North America, you're looking at a moose-sized type animal that's got a bigger shoulder blade, and, and they're just tough animal. So we're sitting there, and the eland keeps getting closer and closer. Well, he's 400 yards away, 370 yards away. We decided we're running out of time. 150 yards. I'm going through the calculations in my mind. 17 inches low at 300 yards. And I got a four power scope instead of a 10 or 12 power scope for long distance shooting. I'm doing the wind calculations. I look over there. I don't see the wind blowing as much over where he is. I can kill this eland. He's right in the open now. Ready? You're on. Yeah. They drop pretty hard on it. I think we stand a pretty good chance of getting that eel right there. You got a lot of confidence in that right there. We get
get down. We went up to where his track was. And we just, I mean, took 10 steps. There he lay. <laughs> I'm telling you what. <laughs> That's good shooting, Bob. <laughs> yes. Oh, I'm telling you. <laughs> Just see, good shot. <laughs> oh. Hey, Bob, every day, huh? There we got it. We got an Elon down. Perfect. You want to test some equipment and see what she'll do? Right there's what they tested on. There'd have been a day I'd had to let the animal walk just because I figured I couldn't take him down. Having a good gun, having the right ammo, I'm practicing back in Pennsylvania, that's the end result right there. This episode of Training Camp is brought to you by Otis Technology, the most advanced gun care systems in the world. Realistic training, and lots of it, is the key to being ready for your next moment of truth. Preparation is the key to success, and I'm Bob Folkrod, and welcome to Winchester Legends. I got confidence in my weapon and the, the ammo that I'm using, but I also got confidence in myself. Look at that. Well, I learned a long time ago when I set my bow hunting school up, you know, whether I'm running and trying to get my adrenaline going up through just exercise. And when I got into the gun world, I do exactly the same thing. I try to get a scenario that may happen, like the Cape Buffalo target coming at you. And lions that jumped up actually hung milk jugs on a line at 20, 15, 10, and 5. And instead of fighting the gun, I'd let it push me back. And as I come back, I'd bolt it and push it and lean into it again and shoot. And I try to get four shots off as about as, as fast as I think something running after me. All right. But if you're going to go to Africa, try to get something that is real as possible. Not everybody can build a target like I have out here, but, you know, spend as much time and use that weapon as much as you can possibly do. Bench time is very, very important, but once you don't know that gun is shoot, get out there and shoot some milk jugs. If you're going to be shooting off a pack up against a tree, hey, I tell you what, when you shoot two or three hundred rounds in them kind of conditions, you've got confidence no matter what's running after you that you can take down. We're having fun now. This episode of Training Camp is brought to you by Otis Technology, the most advanced gun care systems in the world. One of the trackers pointed and he was laying in the brush waiting for us. I got myself up there, we raised up, and as soon as we raised up, he stood up. Winchester Legends is brought to you by Winchester Ammunition, the American legend. Winchester Repeating Arms, the guns that work. Redhead, finest in the field since 1856. She Outdoor Apparel, her adventure starts here and by Hunter Specialties, the world's largest supplier of hunting accessories. Now we're gonna switch camps. We're gonna to go to where the, the dangerous game is. In this area here, you're gonna see uh, lions, elephants, and, and what we're hunting is Cape Buffalo. The difference between hunting plains game and dangerous game is, it's all about attitude. See me hunting dangerous game? It's turned around the front, so I can obviously get to them and pull them out quicker. Yeah, my friends, you're South African tip of the day. I want to tell you the mindset of these things. They're they're big, they're bad, they're fast, and when you hurt them, I mean they become dangerous, and that's why they call them dangerous game because they are, and you have to go in with that attitude, knowing that this thing could hurt you. Quite a batch of them. Alongside the river, though. But it's still nice to see them. I watch them a little bit, but not, not too much intimidates them. It's hard. I call them Black Death. That's a lot of animal to stop. There was a pretty good bull in that, but we were looking for something maybe just a little bit better. We're farting the trackers that found this old bull track by himself. And, and the idea of that is once you've found him, you're gonna go in and basically track this animal on foot. And anytime you're doing that, he can be any place. So you are absolutely on edge. I mean, you're listening for the birds. You're expecting this thing to come at you anytime. It changes all the rules because you are going in after something that can run you over. 
Bob and Farney pursue this massive track through heavy cover for 20 minutes before finally catching a glimpse of this lone bull on full alert. We got in close enough, you know, but uh, it, wasn't, it didn't really give me a good shot. You got the trackers, you got Farney, you, you got myself, and then it's brushy and it's noisy, and you know that this thing probably knows that we're after him. You know, so we made a good stalk, but you know, he saw us at the same time and ran off, and that's his defense. Tom Shanks, my good friend, he's hunted with me several times. Zaria calls Farney saying, hey, Tom got a shot at a buffalo. The bad news is he didn't really get a good shot on it, and they're going in after it. You know we're tracking a wounded buffalo, and there's a good chance that he may come after you. And I did everything I could in Pennsylvania to be ready for what's happening right now. Got on his track and we tracked him for about an hour and a half and we was picking up buffalo crap and the first part that we pulled up, it was a little warm but not too warm. That's from this morning. He laid there. He got up and did tree. Only oh, feel a little, just a little heat left into it. That's from him. Anytime you got a wounded buffalo, a lot of things can happen. You could see where he got angry several times and, and all of a sudden he realized maybe we were on to him. You could tell he was a little, little disturbed. He was a little mad. All right, the buffalo's still alive. He knows we're after him now. It's a, it's a real deal now. Pay attention. This is what you practice for in Pennsylvania. You're going to be back another friend. The trackers in Africa, I can't even begin to tell you. I certainly want, want them after me because they're following one footprint at a time. There's no blood on the ground. They're just following that particular buffalo's footprints. And all of a sudden, they could hear the birds, which is an indication that, you know, the birds are around the buffalo and anything we got down and we come around and one of the trackers pointed and he was like laying in the brush waiting for us. We got everybody in, in position. I got myself up there, we raised up, and as soon as we raised up, he stood up. Got brush all around him. Now, I didn't give this buffalo time to see whether he was coming at us or running away again. As soon as he stood up, I wasn't looking at trying to do anything except put this animal down. I'd have hit him no matter which way he was facing. And when the next one hit him, I mean, it basically broke that hip down and both Bullets almost pass one another, going through all the vitals. Wonderful. Wonderful. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know what? I was so concerned because that thing, that thing is, is, um, on, was on his way to the river. Yeah, yeah. And we were running out of time. <laughs> yeah, but I was proud to be able to be on the hunt and help back him up felt bad for Tom. People might say it's not a legit buffalo, but man, he certainly did have one experience or one great adventure. They are huge. You can imagine when he starts running through that brush. Yeah, I don't nothing, think it's too much stop. Nothing's gonna stop him except, except that right there. <laughs> That's Winchester's new solid. And I'll tell you when you're tracking something like that. You're putting your life in the hand of a, of a bullet, and you got to trust it. And that's why we did all that work in Pennsylvania, just for that reason right there. So Tom had his buffalo. It was kind of a team effort. Hey, man. <laughs> that is good, huh? Another successful uh, safari in Africa. May I tell you, if you get a chance to come to Africa, don't buy a new gun and, and, and come over here and not have it shot. Go to the range and practice. I don't care. Uh, you can do your bench thing to make sure it's sighted in, 
but take time to shoot it off hand, off sticks, anything you can. And if you can get two or three hundred rounds into that gun so you're comfortable with it, you're not flinching with it, uh, trust me, it's going to make your hunt a whole lot better. Winchester Ammunition introduces the all-new Winchester.com, featuring hot new graphics, hunting and shooting tips, and improved information on all ammunition products. And if you're into ballistics, check out the most advanced ballistics calculator in the industry, and then download it as an app for your iPhone and carry it with you into the field. Whether you're a hunter, shooter, or both, when it comes to online resources, Winchester is the industry leader www.winchester.com